morning students welcome to the next session in programming for problem solving using c right so i i'll continue the session on functions now in this class we are going to discuss about inter function communication or parameter passing methods right we know pretty well that we have a calling function and called function right so the calling and called function need to communicate to exchange the data calling and called functions need to communicate to exchange the data right the data flow between the calling and called functions can be divided into three strategies one is downward flow another one upward flow and the third one is bidirectional flow right so the way the calling function and called function are communicated with each other using three methods one is downward flow another one upward flow and another one is bidirectional flow right a downward flow so it is from calling function to the called function downward flow means so it pass the message from calling function to the called function upward flow means so upward flow from called function to the calling function called function to the calling function a bidirectional flow in both directions that means first calling function send the data to the called function again after executing the called function again the called function will return the data to the calling function so it is bidirectional right so data flow strategies there are three data flow strategies a downward so calling function to the called function data will be transferred from calling function to the called function upward flow called function to the calling function bidirectional flow means first calling function send the data to the called function that means called function receive the data and again the called function send the data to the calling function that means after executing the called function calling function receives uh, the data from called function it is bidirectional so in case of these two one way communication is done in case of third one two way communication can be done between the calling function and called function first one downward flow so in this a calling function sends data to called function calling function sends data to called function that is why it is one way communication so copy of data items are passed from calling function to the called function right copy of data items right called function may change the values passed but the original values in the calling function remains unchanged the original values in the calling function remains unchanged right so use call by value mechanism so to right a downward flow mechanism can be implemented with the help of call by value right a downward mechanism can be implemented with the help of call by value now coming to upward flow so called function sends data back to the calling function so in case of upward flow i already told called function sends data back to the calling function that is also one way communication data items are returned to the calling function from the called function 
calling function may use the values passed from called function. Calling function may use the values passed from the called function, right? See, next. Calling function, you see, original values of called function remains unchanged. Original values of called function remains unchanged. So use call by reference or return mechanism is used to implement upward, meca upward communication. Now, bidirectional flow. So calling function sends data to the called function. Called function again sends data to the calling function during or at the end of the process. Use call by reference or return mechanism to implement bidirectional communication. Right? So the bidirectional communication can be implemented with the help of call by reference. With the help of call by reference or return mechanism. Now, so C language uses two mechanisms for interfunction communication. They are pass by value and pass by value and pass by reference or call by value or call by reference. First call by value. In call by value method, the value of the variable is passed to the function as parameter. The value of the actual parameter cannot be modified by formal parameter. The value of the actual parameter cannot be modified by formal parameter. Right? Here different memory is allocated for both actual and formal parameters. Because the value of the actual parameter is copied to the formal parameter. Note. So actual parameter means the arguments which are used in the calling function. Formal parameters are the parameters which are used in the called function. Now, so write a program to swap two integers by using call by value. Right? So, this is the function declaration. So, function name is void, its written type, so function name is swap. Its written type is void and uh, so here uh, it is taking two arguments, two integer arguments for swapping two, two integer values. Here I am providing two integer arguments. Right in the inside the main, I am initializing Right. So this is the declaration, function declaration is function declaration. Right. So inside the main I am taking two integer values, m value is 22, n value is 44. So first I am printing the values before swapping, m and n values will be printed. Then I am calling swap of m comma n. Swap of m comma n. Right? See, swap of m comma n. So this is calling function. This is calling function, right? After that, I am printing the values after swapping. Right? So here, these two are the actual arguments. So the value of m is 22, and the value of n is 44. So in this, it is a calling call by value. That means values are passed as the arguments. M value is 22, and n value is 44. Now we'll see. So here, actual arguments are m, n. These two are the actual arguments. m value is 22 and n value is 44. 
right now so this is the function definition whenever the function call is encountered that is swap of m comma n control is transferred to the called function right now a and b are the formal parameters a and b are the formal parameters so here it is a and it is b now a receives the value from m its value is 22 a receives the value from m now so b receives the value from n b receives the value from n right this is call by value or pass by value so the formal parameters receives the values from the actual parameters so here a and b are the formal parameters m and n are the actual parameters these formal parameters receives the values from the actual parameters right now the swapping can be performed so first i am taking some temporary variable so in that i am storing a value so now temp is equal to temp is equal to a value is 22 then a is equal to b value a is equal to b what is b 44 then b is equal to temp b is equal to temp so b equal to temp value is 22 right so after performing this a value is 44 b value is 22 b value is 22 right so after executing this called function again the control back to the calling function right so here calling function now it will execute so values after swap it will print m value and n values m and n value right so what is m value m value is 22 and n value is 44 after swapping so values of m before swapping after swapping these two that means so whatever the changes done on the formal parameters of called function will not be reflected on the calling function whatever the changes done on the formal parameters will not reflect on the actual parameters that is call by value coming to the next method call by reference in call by reference method the address address of the variable is passed to the function as parameter in call by value method we are passing the value from calling function to the called function here we are passing an address here we are passing an address so the value of the actual parameter can be modified by the formal parameter same memory is used for both actual and formal parameters since only one address is used by both the parameters i will explain with this so write a c program to swap two integers using call by reference using call by reference here so instead of uh, uh, passing a value here we are passing an address for that we are using a pointer int star a int star b for the function swap right so pointer represents it stores the address pointer stores the address whereas variable stores the value so m value n value i am initializing so print the values before swapping then call this function function call swap of m percent m m percent n that means we are passing an address we are passing an address m comma n means passing a value of m and n here we are passing the address of m address of n then print the values after swapping now come to the function definition see here m value is 22 n value is 44 so here the formal parameters are a and b formal parameters are a and b so m is having some address 1000 n is having some address we are assuming 2000 now this is the formal parameter for m right so this formal parameter receives the address of m receives the address of m what is the address 1000 this is star a this is star b 
star A receives the address. Right? So address of M will be received. Then this B receives the address of M. B receives the address of M. Right? Pointer stores the address. Pointer stores the address. Here A and B are the two integer pointers. They stores the address. Here A stores the address of M and the pointer B stores the address of M. Now, so then take temp equal to star A. So temp equal to star A nothing but value which the pointer points. Value which the pointer points. This is the address. Address of M, right? So the value which the pointer points. So what is that value in the address 1000? 22 star a nothing but this is a nothing but its address star a nothing but value which is which the pointer points value which the pointer points so temp equal to 22 star a equal to star b b nothing but address star b nothing but value which the pointer points so 44 then star b is equal to temp. Temp value is 22. Right? Here what we are doing is star a nothing but this one. Star a nothing but this. So 44. It is 22. So directly we can modify the original copy with the help of an address. With the help of an address we will modify the original copy. Right? So now coming to the Output values before swapping are 22 and 44, right? After executing this, again the control move to the uh, main function, right? So in that main function, we'll print the values after swapping. So after swapping, the values are 44 and 24. So here, 44 and 22, 44 and 22. So m and n values are 44 and 22 because so we are changing the original copy that means so whatever the changes done on the formal parameter will show the effect on actual parameters in case of call by value whatever the changes done on the formal parameter will not show the uh, effect on uh, actual parameters right that is so in that separate memory locations are used for actual parameter and formal parameter in case of call by reference same memory is used for both actual parameter and formal parameter. That is. Okay, so what we have discussed in this class? Coming to the summary, so in this class we have discussed about interfunction communication. Interfunction communication. Or parameter passing methods. Parameter passing methods. So there are three interfunction communication methods are there. One is downward flow. Next one upward flow. And third one is bidirectional flow bidirectional flow right so coming to the downward flow it is one way communication that means calling function to the called function it is also one way communication right so called function to the calling function 
Next, bidirectional means two-way communication. Two-way means both ways. Calling function to the called function and the called function to the calling function. So there are two parameter passing methods we have, call by value, call by value and call by reference, call by reference. So call by value is used to implement downward flow, call by reference is used to implement bidirectional flow. In case of this we are passing a value, in case of this we are passing an address. Okay, thank you.